Raven, I can say, there's a knight captain. But it's really hard to picture Raven in charge of a bunch of knights. I don't think it's possible until he gets rid of that shady aura he carries around. It could be that he's only concealing his knightly dignity to complete his disguise as Raven. I don't know if he and Dignity have even been in the same room together. <laughs> Captain Schwann was a man of grace and honor. His skills were renowned, which kept him on constant secret missions. Every knight knew his name, and nearly everyone envied his ability to carry out his duties with poise. Huh? Is that true? And while he was scrupulous, he knew how to care for those under him. So he always had their trust. After seeing three of them, I can see he was well-liked. The more I hear about him, the further he seems from that old man. That's why I'm telling you, I'm not Schwan. <laughs> when did he get here? Listen to yourselves, carrying on as though nobody's around. But sometimes you do say things that Captain Schwan would. You continue to carry his quality, however quietly. Knock that off, would you? Never gets any easier, no matter how many times I come. Bad memories of the Great War? Yeah, there are those too. Uh, what are you... I mentioned I had a friend that liked this flower, right? My friend is here. Why would you have a friend here? You mean a friend from the Knights? Some waste their lives while they're alive. Others waste their lives by dying too soon. Your friend died in the Great War. Yeah, humans. What a sad bunch. Oh, I didn't realize. Way better knight than me. Always use the family's famed bow. Man, such a brave knight. Never did find out what happened to that bow. Maybe it's still somewhere here in this field. Could be. Finding it would be pretty tough, though. <sighs> Thought maybe if I just... Bummed around, Casey'd get mad enough to come back, but, uh... <laughs> That's so sad. Hey, hey, hey! Don't go getting all gloomy on me. What are you talking about? You're the one who started this sob fest. I, uh... Sorry. Anyway, rest well, Casey. I know you're in a better place. Hey! Something's falling out of the sky! Huh? What is it? Oh, you gotta be kidding. So what is it? This was Casey's favorite compact. But how? The ghost of your friend must be watching over you. Ghost? That's impossible. It was just a coincidence. You call this a coincidence? Like, maybe a bird picked it up and then dropped it by mistake. Yeah, that's gotta be it. So, was this Casey friend of yours a woman? Woman? What? Oh, a lady from the old man's past? Now, Rita, remember your blood pressure. Oh, come on. I want all the juicy details. Sorry, there ain't much. For starters, another guy already had his heart set on her. A tale of unrequited love, then? 
A love on war's fickle sea. A lady gone too soon. Oh, such a tragedy. Okay, that's enough. You guys go ahead and think what you like, though. Here's to you, Casey. I'm doing okay with these kids here. I'm doing okay. Raven? Hmm? What you need, lad? I know this is a subject you would like to avoid, but I want to ask you something as a knight. Why would Schwan obey Alexei's orders, is it? I cannot believe Captain Schwan would be so blind as to miss the nefariousness of Alexei's deeds. You put too much stock into Schwan. His head was as empty as a tin soldier's. The Schwan that would fulfill his duty like a puppet died a decade ago. That would not change, even if he knew what he does now? Well, I don't think he would have seen a Blasty of that size coming. But he still might have followed Alexei to the last. But you never can know, can you? Is the reason you wish to settle things now because you have chosen to live as Raven? There are some folks who took this old man seriously. So I guess I can't die just yet. But if I'm gonna live on, then I've gotta make up for what Schwan did. So a fortuitous encounter changed you. That's putting it a bit dramatically. run into another pile of trouble when the knights catch up and you're with us? I won't be laughing if we mess things up before we can deal with Alexei. That young woman knight will be difficult. What will you do about her? She's put me on too high a pedestal. I believe that a line can be drawn between good and evil in this world. And she thinks that you're the one who can draw that line. But reality is not so simple. Right. I hope she realizes that soon. I have a feeling she will. Sounds to me like she's got blinders on. Yeah, I think Applehead will catch on faster. Yuri, you really shouldn't call him that. Witcher is an exceptional mage who represents the future hopes of Ospio. Hmm. Him? Hadn't you heard? I guess I just wasn't interested. Now that I think of it, I think he may have been more on the ball than the others. Even after our request for assistance expired, he continued to aid myself and other knights. He is earnest and dedicated. You care about your crew, Flynn. I'm sure you're a top-rate captain.
out! Demon fight! Yeah! Okay! Try again! Come on, demon fight! Complete some innocent waters! Check me! Was I a little hard on you? It seems Yoder understands your feelings, Flynn. If His Highness has got your back, you've got no choice but to charge forward. <clears throat> yes, I shall not disappoint him. I didn't think he'd order you to go with us and stop Alexei. That little prince, I thought he was just a softy, but he's got sharp eyes. Idealism alone won't get you very far, but if he can make clever moves like that, he'll be a fine emperor. We'd all be in trouble if he couldn't. An eye for the big picture, the ability to use the right people, and noble intentions. A full package like that is pretty rare. Don't worry. I have faith in Yoder. <laughs> anyway, Yoder told us to take you with us, so I hope you're ready for back-breaking work. Of course. I shall not waste His Highness's favor. Good. Then let's go. This should be some fine training. Don't let him trip you up. What the hell? Okay. I can do even better than this. That's the logical outcome.
good work. Yeah, get some rest. You did well. Who are you talking to, Carol? Ah! Ah! Don't startle me like that! I I'm sorry. Did you hear that just now? Yeah, we heard it. You talk to your sword? It cuts better when I do that. Actually, we just won this battle because I gave my sword lots of encouragement before. Really? Whatever floats your boat. Well, that was unexpected. What? Nothing. Thank you for all the work you do. We can't wait to see how well you perform next time. It must be tough having such an unreliable owner. You're the only one we can count on. Um, uh, good luck next time. Wow, thanks, guys! I'll bet my attack power will double in the next battle. Don't Ugh. get carried away! Sorry, but you're going bye-bye. Now this is my style. Arise, a light of light! Up, baby. Oh, disturbing power now unleashed! Meet my judgment upon the evil before down. me! Violent oh, star! Oh. Oh. Come on, wind. Knock him down and cut him down. Wind blade. Not too shabby for finish that one. Hey. I will take back what I have loaned. You allowed that to rise again. You cannot be trusted with Dane Nomos. Do you know what that thing is? The legacy of the Ancients. A giant Blastia that could save the world from impending doom. But you have allowed it to fall into hands that would use it for ill purposes. All things must be returned to their proper places. Begin by returning that sword to me. Wait, if this should be returned to its proper place, wouldn't that mean giving it to Estelle? Nothing would be more fruitless than giving it to one who cannot use it properly. For us, Dane Nomos was never anything more than proof of Imperial lineage. So perhaps you are better suited to wield it. Hmm. So if you don't mind, could you let me keep it a little longer? We're going to stop Alexei ourselves, and we need this to do it. Very well. However, if you should waver before the task you face, I will come again to claim the sword. Okay. 
Let's go.